What is cracking, Bucks and Beeves? Got a couple of pipes here. Couple of pipes. Oh my goodness. Nice pipe. Some two inch uh, rigid conduit that I picked up. I've had for a while, some EMT. Um, yes, it's galvanized. No, it's not that great to weld but I'm only gonna use a little slice of it and I will show you exactly what I mean in just a minute. This I picked up at my local steel shop, 1.9 inch, <clears throat> which just so happens to be the same diameter that Olympic weights, like plates fit over. Just test out that theory and I see they gave me a real nice piece with a buckled end on it. I don't know if you can see that's a little flared out, but no big deal. Anyways, I got some weights and stuff set up over here. Well, I'm gonna grab one of these guys. And we'll just make sure. By a long shot. Okay. Now before uh, we get really too far, picked up some clamps at the local hardware store. I just wanna make sure those will work. Oh, that's perfect. I just, I'm gonna use these cause technically like this is 1.96 inches or something ridiculous. So these clamps, okay, if you're gonna do this and you order 1.9 inch um, pipe and you have these clamps or expect to use these clamps, okay, they don't work. No good for the old uh, DIY axle bar. Um, they're no good, but obviously on an Olympic bar, that tiny little extra. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra. Um, seems to do the trick. So um, I'm just going full on DIY and I got some of these steely little clamps here and on they go and they are gonna do a perfect job for what I need them to do. There are a couple bucks. Pick this up, this is a 10 foot length. I am only gonna use maybe six feet of it. I got other projects for the rest, but uh, six feet ran, or sorry, 10 feet ran me, I think it was like 30 bucks. And this was from like an actual steel supplier, like not like a wrecker. It's nice and straight and true, <clears throat> good thickness, cause gonna want to load that up with all kinds of weight this is why you don't throw your magnets in with your scrap steel look at the state of that whatever okay so oh, all my junk I made a little bought a little room divider on Amazon so you don't have to look at all my crap patio furniture put it in your garage and then you got a spot to sit over the winter I'm brilliant you're welcome a little stick jobby a little yes welder arc 205 ds and i think this will do the trick got my marker we'll go a foot up one foot is there and i'm gonna go i mean i could just go a half inch i'll go one inch with my collars okay so there's my other inch and then i have 20 inches 27 inches plus my hands being five so 10 inches, 37 inches. So let's just call it 40. Hey, okay, call it 40. I got lots of pipe. 40 inches, boom, there. Okay, I'm gonna bring this over here. Oh boy. No, that one's in my way. This was a clean bench before I started and I'm already having to move it out of my way. Isn't that lovely? Let's let some sparks fly. I know what you're thinking. You measured the inside of that line. Now you're cutting on the outside of that line. Are you stupid? Yup. But you know what? That gives me a chance to, uh, cause obviously that, those, those, that's. When you think of someone with ADHD, you probably think of a child. That's my cut, which is just absolutely haggard. Well, you were leaving without saying goodbye, did you? And um, let's see if this fits over. Oh, look at that, it does. So that fits over. I'm gonna tit 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 a little bit of a couple welds here and there. Obviously, I'm gonna clean this up first because that would be no bueno. This and that, that old chestnut. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. So I'm gonna get out. Uh, where's my 
my bench grinder. Oh, there it is. Get to use all the toys today. <laughs> oh, it's be hard on your cordage like that. It's good for it. All right, there's no chance in hail that I'm gonna just use my fingers to hang on to that while I'm, what on earth? There's what I want. I'm not gonna hang on to that with my bare hands while I'm trying to finagle this, you know? There's some burrs in there I'm not gonna be able to get with the grinder, so that's where you get out the old file. Stuffed her down in here. I did so, I did so. Okay, that's on. Am I gonna be able to put this on while doing that, while doing that, and do that, and do this? You know what? I'm gonna set you guys down for a sec. Got a little warm, eh? Look at that. It just buggered up my glove. Come here. Stay. And it's growing ahead there's so much porosity i love it and that's what angle grinders are for i mean i really don't think anything is gonna bump that off so i'm gonna go grab hopefully this doesn't cause that whole pole to go flying off the freaking bench but it might and look at that, it's holding it. And then that clamp will do the rest. Sweet. And the nice thing about bumper plates is you can just fuck your concrete floors with them. Okay, one down. Uno to go. I'm not one to be hunched over working on the floor. Ooh, you love it when you see the air flying out of it. Oh God, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to give that one another go. All right, well that's about enough of that. Cool, now all I have to do, put my ears on and cut this bitch free. never lifted with an axle bar and I see the difference big time in gaining that grip strength. That is unbelievable. Wow. That's gonna be a lot of fun. All right guys, that's it for another video. But uh, yeah, if you like the video, obviously give it a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. That's how you build an axle bar if you have a welder and this and that and all the other things. But like I said, you can get like uh, any 1.9 inch pipe at I think inch and a half. I think Sketch 40 works out to 1.9 inches, which is what you want for these Olympic plates. And then again, like you don't need to weld that. Like I might even grind those off for a, how good they look and just wrap some tape. But these little couple bucks for these clamps, like, <laughs> I spent probably $30 on a pair of these. And these are like $2 each in a hardware store. Not the prettiest, but uh, 
Neither is the training to do with it. Anyways, I'm rambling now. See you on the next one. Later.